What's up guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to work on uploading files through a Vue.js component um, to the server. So uh, we will be trying to select multiple files and upload um, through Laravel as our API. Um, I have already created a drop zone implementation. Uh, I will uh, put that link in the description below. but. I realized that not always would I want a drop zone kind of an implementation, right? It can be the very simple you know, file field which I want or maybe a custom um, image which triggers the file field. And hence it is very important that we handle the behavior of the input type file and create a component which allows us to upload um, the files from a Vue.js component to our server. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. In terms of setup, I have a clean installation of Laravel with all the you know uh, node dependencies. NPM packages are installed, and I have it served on port 8000. And I am running uh, npm run watch for you know the files to be compiled on runtime. The other thing which I would like to do is in my Visual Studio code, I'll go to the env file and i'll use an sqlite database for now i don't want to have a mysql database so that i can um you know delete this folder later on without any issues but to do that i'll go to database.php the file name which we expect is this database.sqlite so i'll say touch database slash this this should create a file here, right? This is our SQLite database. And once that is done, I'll go into my seeds file. I can create this file or what I can simply do is, sorry, user create name will be my email address now I really didn't need to do this uh, I could have done directly on the home page but the thing is I am planning to use the you know the auth package which already comes with Laravel so that you know I have a basic setup in place so yeah i'll go to my terminal i'll do php artisan auth make um hmm. make auth what was it right it's done so yes i have the login register and all those things but i will also do migrate and DB seed. So I have a user now to work with. So let me go into the login and I don't see this. That's because I think I have changed the ENV and I have not served the application again. So yes, I'm into the dashboard, which means my login is working. And in here, let us from our, you know, boilerplate, which comes by default with laravel there is an example component dot view file this one right so we'll use this in our home dot blade okay in here this is my container so example component i'll save and if we refresh we can see this component right so fine a little bit of CSS is not bad. So margin bottom five, some classes which we get with bootstrap. So this is my example component. What do we want to do in here? I want to have an input file field, right? And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to name it as file, which is fine. I'm going to 
create a reference which is also fine i'll say it is i mean we need to define that we can select multiple so this you know attribute is present I'm having too many you know things in here so let me just do some formatting okay um so yeah i have multiple and then the last but not the least and the most important actually is v on change i could have done that on submit but right now what i'm expecting is the moment i select the file it will start to you know, upload so yeah you can always change that you can create a form and on form submit you can do that but right now i'm gonna you know, stick to this plan okay so yeah i mean <clears throat> i don't need anything on mounted i rather have methods object in this i'll pass the event as well and let's just ensure that you know we are able to call this okay so in my browser i have this in my desktop i have these three images right uh, taken from my uh, github application atlantis you can check that out in the description below it's a project where um, i have done a lot of vue.js and laravel coding it's a demo application anyway so yeah we will be you know, taking those screenshots and we can see that you know on console i am able to get this which means my you know applic uh, this event is working right now let's handle the code so i'll have a variable called files which is this dot dollar refs not file dot files okay what we are trying to do is create a javascript variable where we will through referencing this entire thing we'll get all the files okay um now once we have done that we need to create a form submit right i mean and what we will use here is the form data okay and you can go to the mdn documentation and see form data so you know the constructors the methods which are available what we are going to use is first we will use the constructor to create that object and then we'll start appending things to it okay so let form data oops be equal to new form data okay and with that we will write a for loop for let i equals zero now we'll iterate till the length of the files so that we understand how many I mean files have been selected so files dot length okay and every time you know we iterate through it we will add or rather append that data so files okay so if this is not clear what I'm trying to do is let's say I have three I have three files selected right so it will iterate three times and i will say i have um you know a form data where the key is files i so zero one two and i'm adding that particular file to that you know, form object not that that key rather okay you can also do something like form data dot append uh, any any kind of you know key for example hidden uh, the Roy. so you know this will be available in the post data i will show you the basic idea being you know if you need to send some token for example you know the csrf token which we are sending through or anything like that you can use this form append to do that it's a very you know uh, powerful api to work with the forms so Till here we have our form data we have appended the files we have appended our own hidden field and now it's time to post through axios i'll have a post url um, i could have you know posted it on the api 
URLs, but right now I don't have passport set up. So I'll create a web route and post it there. But yes, of course, if you have passport installed, you can always do the API slash URLs and you know, uh, Axios is already taken care with the bootstrap, but right now I'll just use a web URL. Okay. So yeah, file slash upload. I'll be sending the form data now in a typical um, Axios Ajax request, this would have been sufficient, but this particular request is a, is a file being sent, right? So I need to tell um, the server, the you know, Axios library that I'm sending some file information. So what I'll do is I'll create another variable, which is headers. And in this, I'll have an object and I'll say that you know, the content type here is a multi-part multi multipart slash form data. Okay. If you remember in those good old HTML days, if you had a file field, you were supposed to add this tag, right? So yeah, this is how I'm saying Axios that, you know, it's a special kind of a request. It's not a simple post call. It has form data, which is multi-part. And so, yeah, this is the basic request. And then I'll have my promise response. I'll obviously console that out. And we'll try and catch the exception here as well. If there is any um, error error dot response okay so that pretty much completes our you know, view implementation i have you know this thing although we'll get in 404 which is fine but i'll show you which is you know i'll have these three images selected and it says 404 and we have a 405 404 so yes error is being thrown Okay, uh, why don't we Yeah, I think this error message makes a little more sense. Let me try again. Okay. Yes, error uploading file and this is my thing. Okay. All right. So the view part is done. And we need to now handle the um, Laravel part of it, the server side. So in my web.php, okay, I'll create a route, a post route, which is file slash upload. We can work with the closure right now because the things are in place so yeah file slash upload this is correct so we will return initially let's you know look at what we are getting and what not you know just to ensure that you know we are getting something in response so refresh three files and I'm now getting a response and you can see underscore hidden. I have this files. I have these three objects. Obviously we won't get the file object here with any information, but we do get that. Okay. So the basic thing is in place. The only thing right now I need to do is ensure that I have written the code so that when, you know, the user is selecting the uh, files it is coming somewhere inside app and then the uploads folder or something like that right so i'll create a variable called files and i'll take all the files from that request okay so i have files where everything is in place then obviously there are three i have seen so you know it's an array we'll iterate through them as dollar file now i need a file name so for now we'll keep the 
original file name which the client is sending so get client original name it's a function which will give us the original file name and once we have that what we can say is file store as I'll upload into the uploads folder okay and I'll pass on the file name okay now what is happening is the request file is a symphony uh, illuminate HTTP upload okay uh, file format so with that we get these kind of functions if you go to this definition oh. mm. okay anyways I'm not able to get into it right now but you know, this is a I should be able to go here right yes so yeah I mean it's the uh, illuminate HTTP request trade where I have you know this file which is an instance of the HTTP uploaded file and that's why I get these you know, uh, functions <clears throat> so yeah I mean I have uploaded all the files and you know that piece of code should um, be you know enough to upload the files okay and then I'll pass in an empty response a JSON where you know, there's no data but just a status code of 201 okay so I think we are ready to test out our files upload code and I'll select these three files you know, it is there 201 and if I come over here I have these three files uploaded so yeah I mean <clears throat> that's that I think one additional you know, change which we can do is, is it's still selected right so I'll come over here in my promise okay and in here in this promise what I will do is I'll say event dot target dot value will be null so once the files are uploaded right so this will get empty again select so you see no files chosen select these two files and it it goes back right so yeah that's how I'm resetting the form and these two files should be now present in here yes so obviously you know because we have you know uploaded the file using <clears throat> the Laravel wrapper you know right now we are uploading it into the code base uh, the storage folder you can use something like s3 or something else and ensure that your files are being uploaded to any kind of file system which Laravel handles Dropbox s3 or anything else and yeah that's how we have a working Vue.js uh, component which can upload files and we are just using the simple input type file field to um, handle the situation so thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel